Uh, hello students. So today we are going to do another topic that is deciding a hospital. Uh, okay. So when we are about to this, uh, when we are talking to decide a hospital, how uh, how do we go about it, right? So you have thought that okay, fine, I'm gonna open a hospital. Now the next question is okay. So you wanna open a hospital? What type of hospital? Where do you want to build it? what's going to be the strength how big will it be what speciality do you want to give so there will be a lot of questions that will be coming into your mind that if you want to open a hospital then what type of so the step one in planning a hospital or deciding a, a hospital plan is number one is analyzing the project needs so analyzing project needs is a logical first step in the planning process. Information about needs drives decision during the planning phase and help eliminate, estimate the capital requirement of the project. So you have to first know what is the need for opening the hospital. Now, if you want to, uh, what is the need for opening the hospital? What is the need of, uh, you know, opening the hospital in that particular place or why to build in that particular place? So you have to know all together that why a hospital, what type of hospital, right? So, okay, so the type of the research, uh, you know, the can help the organization obtain various information. So what are the various information that you will need to decide what type of hospital is required? So uh, the first one is the service area demographic and projections, <clears throat> payer mix of constituents, specialty service line expertise, community perception of the facility and why any office potential projects, appropriate location of a new facility or facilities, potential lost revenue due to a project or relocation of a facility, presence and impact of competition. So, okay, so service area demographic and projections means like, for example, if there is a population, whether you are going to uh, set up the hospital in a rural area or an urban area, or what is the demographic and of, of, of that population as per which you will be uh, designing your service area peer mix of constituent like for example whether you have patients who are well off and can really pay for the treatment or whether the you know the patients are uh, you know, the insurance patient whether it's uh, the patients um, mostly are from a middle class background so what is you know the payer capacity of the of the population and whether it's a cash patient or cashless patients or under certain scheme or something like that Specialty service line expertise. So, what are the various hospitals which are already existing, and what are their special specialty service line, and what specialty you can think of to build in that uh, that setting? Then comes the community percep perception of the facility. Uh, that means you have to know what your community thinks about it, how much of the cooperation will you get it from the community people, and what does the community think about you know of such kind of hospital, whether whether they will be they will be willing to avail such kind of services or not. Appropriate location of a new facility or facilities. So you have to also know what can be the appropriate location. Uh, where do you really want to build the hospital? Accessible or not, sewage, drainage, everything has to be taken care, water supply, how you're going to manage. Uh, next point is potential lost revenue due to a project or relocation of facilities. So, for example, if you are thinking of making the facility over there and you think that you want to expand it in the future or maybe you want to relocate the future, so what is going to be your loss? And you, of course, will have to think about the competition in the market and then only you can think about like you know, what size of the hospital, what type of hospital, whether the population can pay or not. And up in that, then what are the speciality that is already available, what are the uh, doctors and whether technician nurses will be available in that area or not, what is the competition in the market, what is the base structure. So depending upon then, you will be deciding upon the, um, the, your project needs. So these are the different type of uh, information that you will be requiring in order to project, in order to see what is your project. Okay, so we will be continuing the discussion in the next uh, video. Thank you.